uh, select uh, selections from Billy the Kid Suite, arranged for two pianos by composer Aaron Copland. Billy the Kid, of course, was the famous outlaw, and his life is depicted in this ballet. So please help me welcome Shirley Steven and Kay Coop.
And the next on the program is a performance by Teresa Kaoma and Susanna Denton of a waltz from movie uh, Ball Masquerade, is the full name, uh, by Aram Hachiturian, um, Armenian Russian composer. And the movie is based on a, a short story by um, um, Lermontov, a Russian poet.
piano, four hands. There is another arrangement for two pianos, and the uh, masquerade um, is um, uh, actually a play by the government. Okay, we're continuing our program with two uh, very fun and beautiful numbers uh, by uh, one of Maurice Ravel, is Pavan to the Sleeping Beauty from the Mother Goose Suite, which is a collection of five, um, five movements based on the um, fairy tales for children. So this is the sleep, uh, Sleeping Beauty fairy tale, and Pavan is an old dance of a Spanish origin, so that's by Maurice Ravel, followed by a happy rumba, which is uh, written by Yuri Majewski. Um, please help me welcome Sabine and Sebastian Stern.
Most of the students you're hearing today are part of the piano ensemble class we have, um, but there are also students who take a dance piano on Wednesday nights and um, applied music students. And the ages, as you can see, vary. Um, Sabine and Sebastian are both in uh, high school, and we have college-age students and adult students, um, and we have had ranges uh, as from, I, it's not a joke, but from 8-year-old to 82. So we are all encompassing, and people learn at their own pace, at their own um, ability. You can always find partners for them. So please check out our classes, or if you know somebody uh, who is interested, potentially send um, them our way. We appreciate it very much. Um, the next is a solo piece, Claire de Lune, by Debussy, uh, from his Bergamasque suite, performed by uh, Stephen Jock.
of other interesting facts, uh, Stephen, who you just heard, is actually in the middle school. Uh, and Sabine and, uh, and Sebastian, you heard before, they were both in high school. And Sabine's main instrument is actually violin. So this is for the first time she is doing a public performance in piano. And then we're continuing on to Olvetsi and dances from Prince Igor. Let me tell you a little bit about this uh, number. Uh, Prince Igor is an opera by Alexander Borodin, who is one of the Mighty Five, a uh, group of Mighty Five uh, Russian composer. He was actually a professional chemist. Uh, if you study chemistry, there are still effects named, studied in books uh, named after this uh, man. Uh, so his main trade was chemistry, and yet he was an incredibly talented composer. And his opera, Prince Peter, is um, a very successful opera which has been uh, in production for 150 plus years in all the leading world opera stages. And it has, uh, it's based on a story by Russian Prince Igor, who uh, went to uh, battle the Polovtsevs, which were uh, kind of a tribe, who lived in the prairies in the southern Russia, which would go into um, um, Russia periodically and, and devastate some villages and, um, and, and towns. So he decided to conquer them. And as he was leaving, at the town, there was a full solar eclipse, which was perceived by as a bad omen. And indeed it was, because he was actually defeated and captured and uh, spent several years uh, in captivity. And then he was able to run uh, from captivity. Uh, they treated him relatively well and offered all the treasures they had uh, if he would you know, become one of them. But he never, um, you know, he never followed that. Uh, so in, in the middle of the opera, uh, there are several dance numbers, um, ballet numbers, like a ballet suite, which is uh, distributed in several, um, several uh, scenes. And the purpose of it uh, um, is that Polovtsis uh, demonstrate their art in dance and in like warrior competition. So it uh, became very popular dance number actually after a while and was staged separately and has a life on its own uh, without opera. Um, and the music is so great that it's been transcribed for many different instruments, orchestra and uh, piano. And this is an, an incredible arrangement by Viktor Babin. Uh, Viktor Babin and uh, his wife Vita Vronsky uh, were a first professional, very, very famous professional piano duo, uh, duo in the US and Europe. Um, they were based in Cleveland Institute of Music, where still he's part of five and um, uh, situated. And they toured all over the world. There are many recordings available on YouTube, you can find them. Then this and other numbers, and he has over 200 different arrangements, very difficult concert level arrangements of uh, symphonic literature and operatic literature of various kinds. So, Victor Babin and his wife, Peter Bronsky, performed this as well. Um, and these are the two numbers from it the Gladian Dance of the Maidens, and these are the made captive maidens, that's why. It sounds, you know, kind of Russian. And then the wild dance of uh, boys and men, the polovets and the actual polovets, which sounds, you know, kind of archive. And it ends with a general dance at the end. Please help me welcome MK Ku and Patricia Wong.
have developed, Antonio Vivaldi, who is one of the pillars of Baroque, uh, and known for his concertos and operas. Um, this is arranged by Greg Anderson, who is um, uh, part of the Anderson Row duo, uh, which revolutionized the art of piano duo lately. Uh, he's a very talented composer and arranger. Uh, so the titles, the full title says Sente Semi Chimpogia de Lagrime, or Rain of Tears. And it's a sad melody uh, with very interesting special effects on the second piano. And I would like for you to guess actually how this effect is made. Uh, let me just give you a little hint. Something is put onto the strings. So this is a case of what we call prepared piano. Um, and not to, uh, of course, mention that performers are always prepared. But this is a different preparation. <laughs> you, you get the piano ready for something it's normally doesn't do. So I'll leave you at that at this moment. Uh, please help me welcome Teresa Palma and Patricia Wong. Uh, thank you.
Patricia, can you reveal the secret? Can you show them what it was? It was uh, green beans? Split peas. Split peas, it's food. Oh, it's a snack. <laughs> So it's called totally prepared piano when you put something on the strings or between the strings and sometimes the screws and bolts of different composition could be metal, could be wood, and all kinds of things. In this case, beanie bags or peas rather. Next on the program is a Waltz from the Sleeping Beauty a ballet by Tchaikovsky and it was arranged for um, two pianos by 18-year-old Sergei Rachmaninov. Performed by Madoka Horikawa and Susanna Dent.
Technical Zoo. Uh, two songs from a carnival of animals by Sansas, which was composed uh, by uh, for, for a party, for a birthday party. And Sansans uh, composed 14 songs of Carnival of the Animals. Uh, and he actually didn't allow it to be published during his lifetime because he didn't consider uh, this piece serious enough. And after he passed away uh, in 1921, the next year it was published for the first time and immediately became sort of an international hit because the music was so good and so fun. Uh, so uh, it's one of the most popular pieces um, by him now. And um, Cassie, Spencer, and Patricia Wong are going to do two numbers from it Aquarium and Swan.
let me tell you also about, before we continue, about a couple of uh, upcoming performances. There is more dual piano in works this semester. I will be performing the entire Carnival of the Animals on um, Saturday, May 14th, with a colleague of mine uh, from Ohio, uh, Chris Durenberger. We're going to do the original version, which is two pianos and a small orchestra. It's going to be Saturday, May 14th at 2.30 in uh, FA 101. Uh, it's our uh, recital hall in the building adjacent to this one. And on Sunday, May 15th, uh, also me and Chris Durberger will be performing here on stage at McKinney uh, as well at 2.30. Uh, do a piano recital, including works of Mozart, Greek, and uh, Bio. And then a master class uh, by Chris Durenberger for our duet students. So that's May 14th and 15th at 2.30 each. Uh, so we hope you can join some of our, um, more of our duets, um, duet performances. And we're continuing with two lovely works by Henrik Wolfhardt, who was a, a piano teacher in Leipzig and a composer, also father of two well-known composers and performers, uh, both his sons and became professional musicians. Um, it's a march from Children's Musical Friend, and then followed by Rondina from Melodious Pieces by Anton Diabelli, who was a composer um, and publisher of some of Beethoven works, um, and a composer of a lighter compositions um, which he uh, has in the hundreds, literally, and some lovely pieces for piano duet as well. He was very, very popular at the time, then largely forgotten, and kind of coming back again. Um, so those two pieces will be performed by Muhammad Falu and M.K. Kuhl.
Patricia Wong uh, will perform at the Kata by Grand Org, which is a big French style organ by Bill Year. accepted into USC uh, organ program. And the next, our last number on the 
to, to this afternoon's program is uh, um, three selections from Forez, uh, Dolly Sweet. Uh, Gabriel Fauré is a French composer and he is considered one of the main romantic composers in France. Uh, he greatly influenced Ravel and Debussy who are more contemporary um, and he um, is, has kind of a unique position uh, in French music, sort of a Tchaikovsky of France. And he wrote this lovely uh, duet work called Dal Dolly Sweet. And um, Natalia Gubenko and Anna Grigorian are going to do three selections from the Dolly Sweet. One is called Meow, which is not a depiction of a cat, but rather uh, <laughs> for us, uh, had a um, knew a family whose um, the little daughter had a brother, Raoul, uh, and she was trying to say when she was two year old, Monsieur Raoul, that's how he wanted, she wanted to call his, uh, her brother. And so what came out of her mouth was more like a meow, rather than me, Monsieur, Monsieur Raoul. She couldn't say R as often, you know, with kids at that age. So it came out meow. <laughs> and then a leisure dean de, do, uh, de Dolly, uh, the garden of Dolly, and then um, a Spanish dance, La Paz Espanol. Please help me welcome Natalia 